Good evening. Mr Wilcock, teachers, honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen, and of course, students. It is an absolute honour to be standing in front of you all this evening, giving the end of year speech. It has been a privilege and a pleasure to be the head boy of 2016. And I'm incredibly proud to have represented John Collett School. Now, the end of year speech is the highlight and also the scariest of a head boy's role. In fact, last year when parents, teachers, and students were congratulating me, my dear friend, William, was so impressed by the last head boy's speech, he said, you'd better get a start on it right now, Callum. <laughs> my friends are always full of advice. So, where do I start? Where else but at the very beginning? Unlike some previous head boys and head girls, I started at John Collard School in Lobber First, so it is the only school I have ever known. I didn't know why my parents chose John Collard School for me, rather than the local public school where all my preschool friends went. Not a single child from my preschool in Belrose came to John Collard. But did that matter? No. In fact, everyone else was in the same boat. What strikes me now is that although we did not know each other, we all had one thing in common. Our parents share and love the values of John Collett School and its unique education. On my first day of school, some 2,555 days ago, roughly, to now, I can clearly see all the benefits of what John Collett School has taught me. A great academic education, there's also Sanskrit, Latin, and Shakespeare to expand my mind. Singing and speaking to help me with composure, art for expression, and even though it is a small school, we are fortunate to have PISA and compete with other schools. John Collard is more than just a school. It is a place where we are taught philosophy, meditation, and mindfulness. I don't know any other school that offered the same. That's why it is so unique. My first year of school was certainly one to remember. And one of my most distinct memories of that year was my first Shakespeare play. My class and I performed All the World's a Stage. I was five and wasn't sure what to make of the funny words, the odd clothes, and of course, the foundation, eye makeup, and lipstick. Why did I look like my mum? <laughs> a woman! To top it off, I had to perform in a real theatre. I'd never been so scared in all my life. So, this year, I performed my seventh and final Shakespeare play at Glen Street Theatre. It was amazing to see how far we have come from the first play. Over the last seven years at John Collett, experiences such as Shakespeare, presentations in front of my class, Seggy in the choir, are all challenges that required me to find courage to overcome my nerves and fears. So, most afternoons my mum would pick me up from school and during the drive home, she'd always ask me the same question. How was your day? And I would always answer with, Good, thanks, as you do. <laughs> on this one occasion, whilst munching on my afternoon snack, I replied, I put my hand up for a leadership role. Now you have to bear in mind that some years ago, she had asked whether I'd like to be the head boy one day. And as you know, I was absolutely horrified at the very idea. I then added, hmm, I'd really like to go for the head boy position. She nearly crashed the car. So, why did I change my mind? Well, do you know the movie Forrest Gump? As Forrest would say, laugh is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> the way I see it is, if you don't try them all at some stage because of fear, 
You will never know what the Turkish delight tastes like. And that's my favourite. <laughs> Life has many opportunities. And John Collett has helped me to find coverage when I'm fearful. I know it is something I will always have to work on. I've had many teachers in my life at John Collett. Mrs. Miles, Mrs. Orcorn, Mrs. Crewe, Mr. Roslin, Mr. Kinnamonth, and Ms. Cipollone, just to name a few. But one teacher stands out from the rest. Mrs. Renshaw, my primary teacher. There were not enough words to describe what a wonderful teacher Mrs. Renshaw is and how brilliant she is in so many different ways. She has been kind, loving, and caring for all of my class. And as I think of truthfulness as one of the most important values, I have to be honest with you. She may not have been a complete angel. And she might have yelled at us a couple of times. Well, maybe more than a couple of times. But all for very good reason. Being the only all boys class until a few years ago, it has been a very different experience for us all. And as Mrs. Renshaw would know, we can be very rowdy and noisy. We can be very easily distracted and very disruptive during lessons. So, Mrs. Renshaw, I'd like to commend you I will miss you. Then there's Mrs. Donald, who I will always remember as my first Latin teacher, who made learning a different language fun, and I still love it now. I would also like to mention Mr. Main, as he played a large part in my time at John Collett School. He was a great headmaster, and he seemed to know everything. He was just a fountain of knowledge. I admire his ability to capture an audience's attention, and I still miss his storytelling. Last year, Mr. Main retired, and just like a ship when it loses its captain, someone has to steer it. We were so fortunate to have Mrs. McKendrick fill the role. She looked after the school perfectly until we found him, the one destined for the new headmaster role. Mr. Wilcock. <laughs> he definitely does not look like Mr. Main. He certainly does not wear beige suits and a hat, or can be seen holding an enormous umbrella on sports carnivals or walkathons, but can be frequently seen at the front of school greeting the children and parents of John Collett. There's a kind of reassurance seeing him most mornings as we bound in, or sometimes still dressing as we enter the gates. <laughs> then, without a fuss, he would calmly ask the child to tuck in his shirt or draw up their shoelaces. Mr. Wilcock has brought many different ideas to the school, and we have experienced many changes. We've already seen an increase in students and he has plans that are already underway for new building works. One of my favourite changes has been the lunches. With more funding, it has allowed for more variety and delicious desserts. John Collett School has found its headmaster. So, as you know, I'm off to high school next year. I feel scared, nervous and excited all at the same time. I'll miss my friends, my teachers, and of course, John Coll at school. I want to stay, but I know I have to leave, because like an old shoe, it's comfortable, but I know I need a new one, larger in size and different to my needs. When I enter high school, I know I will be all right, because John Coll at school has prepared me for this. Mrs. Venture has taught our class the school values and many life lessons which should lead to a successful life. So, mums and dads of sixth class, we will be all right. <laughs> to conclude my speech this evening, I'd like to ask the question, what does it mean to succeed in life? 
Is it how much money you have, or how smart you are? Well, if you'd asked me a year or two ago, I would have said both, and you can understand why. Let's see. We have a award for being smart and a award for being the fastest, so I think it is only natural to associate success with these things. The, of course, there was nothing wrong with receiving these, but is this real success? That is why I would like to leave behind something to think about, and that is to consider an award presented at speech night in recognition of the school's values. Students study hard to get better marks, or they train to become faster in hope that they will receive recognition for their efforts. But if there was an award for upholding the school values, maybe we will all have a little more respect for each other, and the world would be a better place. I believe this would be an award that everyone can strive for, because not everyone is naturally smart or athletic, but everyone can strive to be a better person. All you need is heart. And now. I'd like to welcome the head girl of 2016, Mimi Powell.